Hi people, welcome to another tutorial in our series on how to make a survival game with Ultimate Survival. And in this video, we're playing about with the pause menu. Well, I'm, I'm actually making a pause menu. Check this out. So now I can resume and get on to whatever I'm up to, jump onto our car, pause the game again, and then resume and run around and have fun. Okay, so it's very quick, very simple. Uh, there's been a few comments on the forums and on YouTube. People have been asking me how to do it. It's very easy. So let's start by popping back into our last project. Okay, so here we are in our scene. And let's have a look at the in-game GUI canvas. And you see here we've got well, number one, Windows. Number two, HUD. I'm going to make a number three and call it Menus. Because maybe later on we'll do some, uh, some more menus. Alright, so if you look inside the HUD, you've got uh, by number one, number two, number three, and it's got that kind of format. So let's do the same. Let's go create empty, and I'm going to call this one number one pause menu. Hmm, it's fun so far, isn't it? Alright, so actually, let's try and have a look to see where all these are. Okay, that's better. Now we can kind of pretend like we can see what's going on. So we've got a pause menu here now open up these what see it's got like blood screen indicators but it's actually these are the ones that I want to emulate because these have got windows and I'm just gonna do the same thing I'm gonna make a empty game object and I'm gonna call him window and you see their ones they've got canvas group well see you can manually just Add all of these things. Bit of a pain, but let's do it. Let's do copy and paste. Could just duplicate the whole thing. Would have been easier. Um, I don't want you. I want. I want to copy you. And I'm going to grab you, copy, and I'm going to paste you in here. And let's go to sleep and wake up in a couple of hours. This is the one I really want. Basically, I want this window script. Um, gonna copy you and paste you in because we're going to use him to open and close the uh, the GUI. So let's do you manual and normal. Let's leave it like that. Okay. And this. This is what's going to our animation of it fading in, fading out. It's lovely, and that's pretty nice so far. So let's. I'm going to go to create, and I'm going to make a panel. Yeah. Okay. Let's make a panel. Um. Let's, let's make it about yay big, and about yay wide. Put you in the middle, and let's put you to zero. And zero. Let's make it a little bit wider. 250. Let's make a nice even number 500 height. Okay. And now let's make some buttons. So I'm going to make you and make him 200 by 50. Nice big chunky buttons. And if I open him up and I go into the text. Let's make that best fit and I'm going to make him 28. So if I resize, he should scale nicely. And let's move this button up here so we can see it. There you go. Okay, I'm going to rename this BTN for button underscore resume. I'm going to grab that text so I don't have to worry about it. And I'm going to go here and change that to be resume. Nice. Okay, let's duplicate it. And I'll call this blah one because we could add things later. Blah. And let's duplicate it again. And that room down there. And this will be meh. And then 
Let's duplicate him again. Stick him right down the bottom. Let's call this one Exit Game. Exit Game. And this one we can actually put some real writing on it. And say Exit Game. Well, that's it. That's job done. You've got a menu. You can turn it off now. Now, but let's just save it. Okay, so now you see on my buttons. If you finish your saving, I um, crashed everything. Come on, wake up. Here we go. So you see down here on click. We're going to play about with this in a minute. But before we do that, we need to do some changes to one of the scripts. Now you can make your own scripts and have the ultimate survival scripts call yours, but it's late. I've had a couple of bottles of wine. I'm tired. So let's just play about with the scripts we get with Ultimate Survival. So find your little man. Where's your little man? Where is he? Mail player. Here he is. And you see this look route. This is where we're going to do some magic. And let's open up so we can see the camera here because we're going to be turning on this depth of field script to make everything blurry when we pause so we're going to need to remember about him so let's we're going to open up this mouse look in our favorite editor all right so here we are inside our mouse look script first things first let's go using ultimate survival dot standard assets and that's so we can use the depth of field on the camera and here I'm going to have GUI system. This is so we can use the window to open and close. So let's go down here and make some space to start adding some private variables. And through the power of pause and unpause I've now given you a pause menu. This is a new head I want to have to make everything nice and neat and now we've got a serialized private field for the depth of field script and I'm going to call it m underscore depth of field alright so next right now I've added in another serialized field for a menu window now this is the window that we're going to be controlling and this is the window script that we'll say on and off to hide and show our menu alright so one more alright on this one we're going to have a game object for our HUD. That's the entire HUD uh, UI section that we've got in Ultimate Survival. So, and the default, it's got the hotbar, the stamina. It's even got the uh, the FPS counter in the top right corner. I like to turn that off when I've paused. You might not want to do that, but whatever you want to do, it's uh, it's your game. So just play about. On my one, I want to hide it because I want to keep it pause menu nice and clean. Last but not least. I just wanted to put a little ball to say if the game's paused or not so that I can control the menu a little bit nicer. Again, you might not want to do it, but it's just this extra little level of error handling that I just wanted to put in to play about. Okay, so that's our variables that we're clearing up the top here. So now let's start using them. All right, go down. You see here, this is the uh, on GUI that's actually going to show well, what causes that little black button, that little blue button in the vanilla ultimate survival whenever you've clicked escape so just above here I'm group I'm going to create some public uh, functions that we can use with our buttons so first one I'm going to put public void and I'm going to call this one unports um, let's go Unpause game. I said I wasn't going to type. So, this is the one that um, unpauses. So, let's grab that. And actually, I don't need him anymore. And I don't need this button anymore. Okay. So, let's put him here. And now, I'm going to make a private void for pause game because we're not going to need that on the button we'll have that when we click escape okay and that's this one here 
do 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 grab him stick him in there so let's tidy that up a little bit it's a little bit messy I do apologize for being messy sometimes but there is a reason why I got given that name it wasn't just for um because I'm so good looking All right now you see when you click escape we're going to call our function pause game so at the moment it just does this now um again sorry about that it's better okay I'm just going to save that now and now that we've got our unpause and our pause functions these don't actually um really do much for so far what we want because all this is going to do is going to pause and then we can't unpause because we don't see our menu so we don't see the button so first things first we need to actually add a little bit more code into the pause game function to show the menu now I don't like this because at the moment I don't actually have any extra error handling so once again and this is what I created earlier so we've got here to say do we have a menu window as in did we drag and drop something into our serialized menu window uh, variable and is the game not paused so not oops not is paused which means it's not paused okay, um, okay so then we're saying okay like we had before the visible cursor and the lock state but now we're also saying depth of field is enabled true HUD window and again here we've got these to like make sure that we do actually have depth of field and HUD window um, something inside those variables so we have HUD window set active is false which means now you don't see the HUD anymore and menu window do you remember at the top we had the menu window we were calling and open and then I'm putting my ball saying yep airport is pause is true so now we will actually see the menu when you click escape and it will flag it that it's paused right, I'm going to click save so nothing horrendous happens now we want to do the same kind of thing here but backwards so um, grab all of that and paste it in here take this and just put it there and make it nice and dented and then here I'm going to put that as false I'm going to put that as true and I'm going to put you as false it's got to be a public because it's going to be a button that's going to use it put void and quit game Oops. and application quit let's put some things in here quit game and let's put here show window and let's put here hide window and let's change that to close and let's change that exclamation mark to say yes it's true if menu window so I have a menu window and the game is paused then we want to unpause by hiding the cursor again um, going back to being locked then for field to turn it off put the HUD back close our window and we're going to say we're no longer paused so pause is false now private void and the reason why that is public up here is because we're going to use it on a button Okay. Ooh, there's an extra space, let's get rid of that. A bit tidier. So, private void doesn't need to be public because we won't actually use it in the button, we'll only use it in this script. If, once again, we've got menu, window, something was put into that variable, it's not empty, and the game isn't paused, because remember up here the game was paused, then we're just going to say, okay, let's see the cursor, log mode none, and then depth of field is true. HUD, hide it, so I said active is false. And now menu window dot open. That's because we're using the window script to be able to call it. So that's open. And then is pause is true. 
Then down here we've got the uh, just a quick quick game application dot quit. So nothing fancy like saving anything, but very messy. Very quick tutorial. Right, save that. Let's go back into Unity. When you click on the look root, you'll see that now we've got three new serialized variables. We've got dev field, mini window, and hand window. So let's hand window hand window. Let's start dragging drop in our camera in there. Let's find our window drag him in there and where's our HUD let's drag our HUD in there lovely right now our resume button I'll click on that plus here got here none object so let's drag our look root in there run function with mouse work we should be able to find unpause game and on the exit do the same thing. Let's do 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 do. Where are you? Look root, and we should be able to find our quick game. Okay. I'm just going to click save. Let's click play. You got your fingers crossed at home. Okay, so we're in our game. Let's click escape. Oh, nice. So. We've got here and go back. Let's click escape. Go back and let's go back. All right. So far, so good. Right now we need to actually pause the game. So we've got a menu working. But so let's grab this using system collections. We've got our system collections in place. Now we want to make a private enumerator. So um, let's go down here. Let's make a enumerator and call it pause count. So we've got here yield return. You wait for seconds, and I'm going to put 0.3, and that's enough time that it's going to take our animation to, to open up our menu. And then we'll put here time dot time scale equals zero. Now let's grab this time time scale equals zero. Where's our unpause? Here's our unpause. Let's put it back to one after it finishes unpausing. And here we need to underneath and here we need to start our co-routing alright so pause count done All right, let's click save so what this will happen is uh, we'll try to open our window we'll set pause to true and then we'll start our pause count co-routine which will wait for 0.3 seconds and then it will set the time scale to zero pausing the game when we unpause our game, the last thing we do is put the time back to 1. And don't forget that at the top, we added in our system.collections. So we've got system collections and ultimate survival standard assets and the dot GUI system in the namespace folder so ultimate survival for all of the magic things that we've done today to work. Don't forget any of those, otherwise it won't work and then you'll be upset back into unity let's click play and let's go and find our friends over here hopefully we can click escape quick enough here we go and now it's paused so let's click resume oh and run away really quickly before he comes and grabs us we oh there you go so you can even make it a little bit short uh, 0.2 maybe 0.25 because I could he still can sneak up on you and get a blow in before the game freezes. Okay guys, that was it for today. Fun little tutorial. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And remember, if you like it, click it. Go on. If you want to see more on the Ultimate Survival series, click on the links on the left side of your screen. And if you like these videos and you want to see more of them, please click subscribe. It's in that big button that's down below. And there's next to it, there's a little magic bell. And when you click that bell, it tells you when there's a new video out. So cheers, thanks for all the support.